I was retired and playing sports, tennis, golf. Very, very active in my community where I live. I lived in the woods and I had a good life. I lived alone for 24 years, which is really kind of funny. And here I am married again. <laughs> my now husband and I went on a vacation to Florida and we were playing tennis and I couldn't, I couldn't catch my breath and so I had to sit down several times, which was very unlike me. The ER physician said, are you a realist? And I said, yes, I am. This was after they had taken a couple of tests. And I, he said, I think you have ovarian cancer. I told my husband I wasn't gonna marry him until I was well. And I was, I was stage four ovarian cancer, which, as you know, is pretty, that's pretty significant. <laughs> I always was a walker, a runner prior to that. As I got older, I decided that walking was better. I had breast cancer after I had ovarian cancer. I carry the gene for both. My breast oncologist said that because I was so active is the reason I survived. And I have three daughters and they're all negative, which is really wonderful. And they all exercise. <laughs> and I always had mammograms regularly and saw my physician often. But there is no test for ovarian cancer, which you probably know, at least not at this time. I know that I wanted to live when I was going through chemo, and I know that I, that I did everything that the doctor said. You know, when I got home from the hospital, I started walking. I was religious about exercising and getting back to the activities that I enjoyed and tried to eat right. And after you've been accustomed to running three and five miles uh, a couple times a week, and you can hardly make it around the block the first time when I came home from the hospital. That was really something, and I was determined. Plus, I have children and grandchildren, and I wanted to see them grow up and see what kind of people they turned out to be, and so I'm enjoying that voyage. I sometimes think, if I still lived in the woods in Indiana, what would I have done? I fairly well lead my, the, my life as I would anyway, I do have neuropathy in my feet, and my hair isn't curly anymore. It came back straight, <laughs> and I always had curls. But um, there are sad times too. I just lost a friend about a month ago that I met, who I met in, while we were going through chemo together, and that, that's difficult. And I sometimes wonder why her and not me? And I suppose that can happen to anybody if they have a disease that somebody p passes away from and you don't. You just don't know why. <laughs> Maybe God's not done with me yet. <laughs>